Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. So, next place you guys voted for was Cave on the Velt. Should be a bit of a step down in difficulty compared to the areas that just came beforehand. But there's still room for something to go wrong easily, especially since it's kind of late at night. Which is always when I play the worst, of course. One, two, all the way to the top. Okay, battle already, going all the way to the top. Let's see what we have. No preemptive, apparently. This is, uh, Terra. I heard a bear. <laughs> ah, sometimes the noises come at the wrong time. I don't know if I press the button or not. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Fire three and hit the bear with it. I'm playing her MP a little bit fast and loose here, I guess. This is Gogo. -Go, because I have Gogo. -Go I mean, I do have a party of all mages, why not take advantage of that fact? Perhaps something I should have been doing earlier, but I was kind of lazy and chose rage all the time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You know, the funny thing is, I don't even. I can't even remember for the life of me what the second enemy is in this fight. Is it one of those chicken lip guys? Anyway, 10, 11. Meteor their faces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Raise and hit the bear. That should take care of the bear. They don't have quite as much HP as the other guys from Ebbets Rock. <laughs> Maybe the bear died from that, because I don't think the chicken died from that. Let's have Gogo -Go Blitz again before I hopefully finish off the encounter. The thing about this dungeon that's almost a bit weird after all the other dungeons beforehand is that I'm not using weird tactics with, oh, put on a bunch of status effects and try to one-hit KO stuff. I'm... and or incapacitate them right away. I'm just fighting the battle straight forward right now. And it's nice that I can kind of do that, I guess. So all the way to the left. Uh, right and up for a bit. This should take me through the door and into the next room. This dungeon is not easy to visualize. It's not one of the nicer places to remember. And it's got a lot of twists and turns in it, so I can't just take nice routes everywhere. I've got to kind of use a strange ways of going about it. Very piecemeal, I guess. One step to the left, down and right now. I probably didn't honestly walk that far when I was going up and right there. I probably overdid that. Just like I'm not walking too far here either. Alright, up and right will allow me to slip up through here. Hopefully that's a good sign. This is Go-Go. Um, actually it doesn't matter which one of you is it is, is it? Okay. I'll have you Meteor again then. Because I'm having you both do the exact same thing. That was Terra, though, evidently. But shouldn't Gogo -Go have gone already? Or maybe I just missed the noise because I wasn't paying attention. Well, that's one enemy dead. Maybe Gogo -Go got... Oh no, I forgot to heal. That's right. I'm stupid. So yeah, Gogo -Go might have actually died. That was my mistake. I'll have to deal with putting Float back on him, I guess. Usually that's at the bottom right of magic menus, so I'm not particularly worried about it. down. Yep, as I expected, Gogo -Go died. 
so let's first go into Terra's magic. Actually, let's first uh, reset. Use, go into the dried meats to reset my cursor to the top where Terra is. Skills, Terra, magic, cure. Doesn't take that much curing, to be honest. But even still, it wears down on the effectiveness of Chakra as a way of sustaining myself. And I didn't get one off last round, which is a bit of a pain. Oops, what did I do that for? Skills, Strago, Magic. Strago's okay on MP. It's too bad I can't do any healing with him, because he's the one who's who can uh, accomplish that with the least effort. Because he's always uh, gaining MP from Chakra overall. But he's got no healing spells, so... Well, except Holy Wind, but I can't use that out of battle. There's my first chest, so I'm making some progress anyway. Down and right and up. Up. All the really long stretches of walking are generally concentrated after this part. Because right now I'm running a bit, hitting a wall, running a bit, hitting a wall, but... So even though it feels like I'm doing a lot of stuff, I'm probably not actually taking that many steps. Okay, I think I'll be going down next. Yes, yeah, so this is go-go this time. This might be a preemptive strike. I would prefer to open with flares on preemptives. Because... Flare's still pretty good damage overall in this dungeon, because most of the battles don't have a ton of enemies. Wow, they got that off pretty fast. Faster than I expected, anyway. Well, obviously this is go-go again. Flare's still... there's usually not a ton of enemies in one battle in this dungeon, so... Flare usually hits for close to amount, as much as Meteor, and it's d definitely the best thing against the Manticores, so who I want to kill before they can berserk me. From here it's probably just mashing the button, I'm pretty sure that I've got this fight in the bag at this point. Of course I still gotta heal Terra, but... Gotta remember that, unlike last time. First, let's uh, reset my cursor again to make sure nothing flippant is going on here. Skills, Terra, Magic, Cure. Thankfully, it's really not taking that much MP from her to heal everyone up to full. So down and left takes me into this next area of the cavern. I take a few steps out of the way here, I think, but... It's for the better, because I think it would be really awkward to do it any other way. And now I go up and right, left for a while. The, thankfully, the uh, darkness back here, the fact that I can't see, obviously, is going to be no issue in this run. Not that it's a serious issue normally, but... Starting to get worried here. There really should be a battle here. This is pretty long. Starting to think maybe I messed something up. Well, we'll know for soon for sure. One, two, all the way down. Well, there we go. Boss fight. Not much of one, it's practically like another random encounter, but it's a boss fight. Oh, whoops. Perhaps I should have made some effort this time to differentiate them. Um, Cure 3 from her does more damage than Flare does, so let's take advantage of that. Hopefully this is Strago. This is in fact Strago. I got lucky. Uh, arrow... Something else that starts with A, I think. Bad Breath. Black Omen. Let's actually make use of that. Less because I really, really need to, and more just because I want to make use of it. I don't want to spam it through the dungeon, because then Gogo's not going to nearly keep up with the, the MP healing there. 
Hopefully this Fire 3 should finish him off. He really doesn't have that much HP. But I'll throw another Cure 3 out just in case. Gogo doesn't seem to preempt be preempting Terra and Strago as much as I want him to. I mean Terra and Realm, rather. Strago I don't care about. He's not ha gonna have any MP issues at all. Well, I received my Stormfang. Pretty sure that's what it's called. Skills, Terra, Magic, Cure. I don't even think there's any status effects really they can put me on except poison. I guess that would suck to suddenly be on and not realize it, but eh, what the hey. YOLO. All the way to the right. Now I got a real random encounter. Um. Have Gogo do his thing. What does that mean? That type of physical attack, what's it from? I don't even know. Okay, maybe it's from a chicken guy, I don't know. Um. Oh shoot, I just used Black Omen again because I didn't remember what I was doing. And I think I just... Yeah, I used something dumb with Realm too because I also forgot that she was moved off the cursor. Terra, you get out of the way for the moment. Well, whatever. Black Omen's too strong. <laughs> it just wiped them the moment it was called up, so I'm gonna have to figure it all next out next time. Skills, Terra, Magic, Cure. That wasn't what I wanted at all, but yeah. Next battle, gotta focus and do it properly this time. Up. That's not very far at all. One, two, three. Alright, for the little bit, it lines itself up nice for me. And unlike the uh, annoyingness it's been so far, so straight down for quite a while. Okay, so who is this? This is Gogo. -Go. You're still straightforward, because I still want you to be doing the same thing the entire dungeon. It's, uh, it's easy to put Realm into the right place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think this is probably Strago. Yeah, I'm gonna assume that's Strago. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Raise. Because this is probably a preemptive strike. Otherwise, Strago's unlikely to beat anyone, considering Terrace got haste and every Gogo -Go and Realm both have pretty high speed. Strago lost a bunch of MP, but overall it shouldn't be impacting him too harshly. Well, that guy's dead. I don't need to worry too hardcore in this dungeon. About getting everything perfect, I guess. I just don't want to run out of MP, I guess. That would be a bad thing. Because it would be awkward to set myself up again after something like that. And Gogo -Go doesn't seem to be getting a lot of bonus turns, I guess, over what the other people are getting. Skills, Terra, Magic, Cure. That, of course, didn't require much, because all I took was a physical attack, probably from a Grizzly. No big deal at all. Well, I guess it's slightly bigger a deal if it's his special, but... Let's not go there, because that's probably not what happened, or... I wouldn't have just healed once. One step to the right, all the way down. I get some distance again. I'm almost surprised there wasn't another battle there. Now, when I go down and right here, if I hit a battle, I always want to go right as the step coming out of the battle, because that'll never mess me up. Hmm, did I make it there already? If so, I made another decent chunk of distance there. I'll get my next indicator, like, really solid indicator at the door, but of I'm sure I was in the right place after that last battle there. Left, down. Yeah, that's a good sign. Pretty sure I'm in the right place. Um, 
Is this like another preemptive or something? Flare. Raise. Fire three. Oh, side attack, I guess, even. Wonder what I'm side attacking. Not that it really matters that much. I can't get any bonus to uh, everything by hitting things from behind in this fight. Oh, well, that guy's dead. I guess my usual tactic of pressing up to try and hit the bear... Has that even been what I've been doing so far? I'm not even 100% sure if I've been targeting the bear properly, but I, I guess it really doesn't make much of a difference. Actually, now that I think about it, Terra's probably going up in MP2, because during those last couple of preemptive strikes, Gogo's been... Gogo's gone twice, and she's only gone once, I think, so... Yeah, Terra's MP should be fairly solid right now. Although, perhaps if I healed like I was supposed to... Whoops. Alright. Left one. As expected. Continue all the way down. This spot isn't particularly kind to me, but whatever. Up one, all the way to the right. At least it's small, so hopefully I won't get too many battles in this area. Battles always throw me off, so nice not to get as nice to avoid as many battles as possible in the tricky spots. Now that I think about it, I'm actually getting pretty close to the end. One step to the right, all the way up to the top. Okay. Going up to the switch now. Is this another preemptive? No, apparently not. It was just... that's what happened. I've been hitting suspiciously few manticores compared to what I feel like I normally hit. At least if I'm just pressing up to single tar to target my fire too, whether it hits the intended target or not, I suppose at the very least that will not retarget to my own characters in the case of a side attack, which is always good because wow, that felt like it ended faster than I would have expected. But skills, Terra, magic cure. I don't think I've had a dungeon this easy in a long time. You, even the Science Dream was kind of a little bit harder than this. Or at least it took longer, maybe that's why it felt harder. I f feel like I've actually been doing... Ugh, that's not where I wanted that. Um. Yeah, but those manticores are nowhere to be seen, as far as I can tell. At least I've got no direct confirmation of one. It's possible that I killed one without using Aqua Rake or Magnitude, but... Seems weird. Wow, I... I swear I don't recall Flare one-hit KOing things in my test runs. Maybe she's, uh, gained a couple levels not throwing off what I'm expecting mentally, but... Did they even hit me that time? Skills, Terra, Magic, here. No, they didn't. Down one. Left two. All the way up to the top. Down one. Oh, all the way to the right. Glad that I have a mystery egg because mysterious things are mysterious and that's a pretty useful thing to have around. I'm sure the people who know what the mystery mystery egg does what the mystery egg does will appreciate why I enjoy having it around so much. All right, one step left, all the way down. 
That's the last noise before the save point, so the next confirmation I get will be the save point. Right and up. Always go right. It's go go. Alright, this has to be a Manticore just because I know that I've used up all my uh, luck as far as hitting the other battles goes. Not that it's really important that I don't get a Manticore, it's just that. Oh, shoot. I'm an idiot. Whatever. At the rate I've been going, this battle will be dead before Gogo -Go wastes his turn that I just wasted, so I don't even care. Yeah, this was another preemptive strike into uh, Murder All Their Faces. That's been happening a lot. More than I expected, even. I wasn't expecting to... I was expecting it to be easy, but I wasn't expecting to be wiping battles before they touched me easy. Left, all the way up to the top. Now hopefully I'm in the next room. Right. Down one, right one. All the way down. Oops, that wasn't what I was supposed to do actually, but... Actually, I'm starting to think that... Wait, was I supposed to go right one step after I went outside the door instead of left one step? That might be the case. It would certainly explain why I haven't gotten any battles. Yeah. Well, in that case, I think I'm on the staircase. Wouldn't I be? Let's assume I'm on the staircase. Brighten up. Staircase below the door, I mean. Not one of the other staircases around here. And a battle there actually would have been nice, it would have, like, during my right and ups there, if I'm going in the right place. Up. Right. Down and right. All the way down. Yeah, I'm starting to get really worried that I messed this up terribly. Right next to the end, too. I don't know how I'll recover from here without any switches or whatnot. Yeah, I might have to restart this because I don't I can't think of any way to get out of this. Let's think, where would I have ended up? Down, right and up, left, up, right. Down. No, wait. Right. Down one step, right one step. Down all the way. Right and up would send me. I'm gonna go down and right all the way again. I'm hoping that going down and right all the way. Well, then why wouldn't I have done that already, to begin with? Okay, another battle that tells me nothing, because I just started moving. Ah, and I'm being dumb, apparently. Not that it probably matters at this point, but... since I'm probably just going to lose this run anyway right now. Yeah, it seems to be another one of these encounters. Gonna go left, down and left, then down and right, then up and right, and then 
Uh, hopefully I'll be back on track, and if not, then this segment's definitely canned. Oh, well, I guess I can tell that's a... oops, I wasn't doing anything. Didn't realize that nothing was happening, because I wasn't doing anything. I didn't realize a turn came up for some reason. Still not dead yet, eh? There we go. I'm still somehow not expecting this to work out. Skills, Terra, Magic, here. Obviously, I've also got to heal that poison. Don't want to have that slowly killing me. Dried Meat, Phoenix Down, Remedy. Down and left a whole bunch. Down right a whole bunch. Right and up a whole bunch. Left, up, right. Oh, I got a battle around where I would have expected to, so I'm wondering if perhaps that could have, by some fluke, gone as intended. By some fluke, I mean more like that's just kind of how the ground laid around there, that it would funnel me into the right direction. But. Hopefully everything went as planned, because it feels like there's so many ways that could it could have not gone as planned. Still not dead yet, that's kind of annoying. Oh wait. Let's see, does this finish it? Yeah, there we go. I've probably still got okay MP left. Oh, whoops. I mean, that's my item menu still, because I didn't switch it back. Skills, Terra, Magic, Cure. I probably would have had to do that anyway, regardless. All things considered. Right. Down. Right. Down. Still getting encounters, definitely with more frequency than when I was presumably running into walls earlier. This is Go-Go. This is also a uh, Manticore. Well, that was Terra anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. You know what? I don't even care. Let's blow some MP on Black Omen. Because I can. I <laughs> Strikos have got to be, like, full right now, so... Might as well make sure that nothing happens with his anger and messes me up. Presumably Terra. Might as well use Break because it's slightly better against this guy. And it costs less MP. Okay. If everything worked out, if. then it might be the last battle there. We'll see. Brighten up. It's not a long walk to the save point from here. Yep. I got it. I must have uh, made the exact mistake that I thought I made in... 26, 26, 27, 26. Actually... <laughs> 15. I was wondering because uh, that was lower than my test run and I felt like I walked around more. If he hadn't have died in that one fight, he would definitely have reached level 27. Anyway, I suppose I'll save, and that's the end of that. See you next time, I think.